Hey, my name is Emilio. I work in the IT industry, and today we are talking about different backup types. So this server, will be connected to what we'll call a backup server. So this server is responsible for all of the backup routines, the backup scheduling for this server. The very first backup will always be a full backup, okay? So this is now Monday, and I've just taken a backup, and this backup is going to be a full backup. A full backup is essentially a first initial backup of this server. This server has never been backed up before, could be a new server, could be an existing server that has not been backed up before. First backup will always be a full backup. This will contain a raw copy of all of the files that you've selected to back up. It could be a copy of the entire server. The first one will be full, and we're doing this example, we're doing this on a Monday. The next backup in most systems will be a incremental backup. This is now an incremental backup. Now, what has happened here is this incremental backup is essentially a copy of only the files that have changed since the last full backup okay so remember the first backup is completely full we'll back up every single file the next backup is only going to back up the changes of anything from the full backup this could be new files that have been added it could be files that have changed. So the metadata, so for example, the date and time has changed, the contents, the author, the file has been edited, you've opened up a Word document, you've added some text and you've saved it. Any of those sort of changes will fall into a incremental. The incremental backup managed by your backup system will be smart enough to interrogate everything on this server and go, okay, everything that's done on my full backup, I'm only going to back up the changes from that first initial backup. The next backup, which is your Wednesday, is also an incremental backup. Your Wednesday backup is going to be an incremental backup based on the changes done from the last incremental backup, which in turn is the last changes from the last full backup. And that pattern will continue throughout the whole week. So then Thursday, Friday will also be incremental backups, which will all reference the previous incremental back to that full which is on the monday okay that's really the big difference between the full and the incremental then what will happen is let's say that the next monday rolls around we've now got monday again this is the second week this is monday one this is now monday two we're now going to perform another full backup okay another full backup on that monday my next backup is now going to be an incremental backup again. It's only going to do the changes from this full. This full is now irrelevant to this backup. So this backup will not reference this full or any of the incrementals in that last week because this new full has essentially started the counter again, right? So this next backup and every subsequent until the next full will be incrementals referencing the previous incremental referencing the last full backup. So every time you do a new full backup, the next backup, if you set it as an incremental, will be referencing the last full backup. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel Digital Byte Computing just on the button there for more videos.